Hi, I am Juan Martinez, Senior Product Manager at Sony Electronics. Welcome to NAB 2013. We're at the 35 millimeter camera set and we're right in front of the F55. This is one of two Cine Alta 4K cameras that we introduced uh, a, a couple of months ago. Um, and I'm gonna try to go over some of the main differences between the F55 and the F5, its sibling. Uh, the F55 can be distinguished because this ring is silver, and the, in the case of the F5, this ring will be black. Uh, one of the main differences between the two cameras is the image sensor. The image sensor on the F55 is what is euphemistically known as a global shutter sensor. Uh, we call this a frame scan sensor. And in essence, what is happening is all the pixels are being exposed simultaneously. So if you were to have a a strobe, let's say if you have a scene with paparazzis and they're firing, flash, firing flashes. On the F5, which has a traditional rolling shutter sensor, you may have banding, uh, where you have some little streaks of light where the flash occur. Uh, in the case of the F55, the whole frame will become brighter and the blacks will come up and everything will be uniformly lit. The other difference that you may see between a camera with a traditional rolling shutter and a camera with a frame scan like the F55 is that uh, objects that are moving at high speed will have a tendency to distort or bend. Let's say the blades on a helicopter. Uh, you may have seen this on TV and they appear to be bent. On the case of the F55, this, the blades will look nice and straight. Another difference between the two sensors in the camera is that the, the sensor in the F55 can crank faster. So the camera can record at a maximum of 240 frames per second and 2K raw to the optional uh, R5 recorder. Uh, the F5 is, is, is half the speed, so it can crank up to maximum of 120 frames per second to the raw recorder. These cameras are designed to have three different codecs that can record internally too. One of them is the uh, nice, uh, beautiful 50, 50 megabit per second XCAM codec that we have grown accustomed to. Uh, it also has the capability of recording an SR codec, which is fantastic, high performance codec. That is, uh, and we can record at 440 megabits per second RGB or 220 megabits per second 422. And we've introduced uh, XAVC. This is an H.264 codec, uh, MPEG-4. Where it's the highest level and profile is what we have implemented on, the, on these cameras. And we can uh, have very high quality recording. It's in essence doing something similar to what we do in Bluepoint. It has a two pass encoding and a single pass. So the quality is quite good. And we're storing the metadata of how it was encoded frame by frame so the optimization is, is preserved. And this means that if you do multi uh, generation encoding, there will be no condensation losses. The quality will be preserved. Uh, the uh, XABC can go from HD, 2K on the F5. On the F55, then you can additionally record at uh, QFHD or 4K internally on the camera. And both cameras can record to the optional R5 recorder uh, up to 60 frames per second at 4K raw. In the case of the F5, as I said before, up to 120 frames per second at 2K raw, and the F55 up to 240 frames per second at 2K raw. Another main difference between the two cameras is that the F55 could output uh, four streams to output 4K live, so that you're going to have four connections and have a live 4K output uh, that can be displayed or sent to another device for recording or processing. Uh, the F5 doesn't have that capability. For more information on the F5 and 55, go to sony.com/professional.